G'day guys, welcome back to this home storage and organization haul. Today I'm going to be sharing tips to help you organize your home. These are what I have done to organize my home. So there's going to be organization tips and hacks and all round a decent clean with me at the end. So I hope you enjoy this video. The organization boxes and containers that I'm going to be using, I purchased at Bunnings. So that's what I'm showing you here. And I also have some from Kmart, which I shared in another haul. So the compartment containers here are fantastic for so many things. The five compartments are $3, six compartments is $5, and the eight compartments is $10. If you've been on my channel for a while, you know I love the eight compartment storage box and I've used it for craft organization to jewelry organization. We're in this together now. If you love satisfying before and after videos, check out this before. This is our stationary cupboard. Um, it's just not working. Obviously, I've got a tub up there with scissors and tape and things like that, but I just can't find them easily. So the containers I'm going to be using are these all set ones from Bunnings. They're $9.29 and you can get one drawer, two drawers on top of each other or the two drawers next to each other. <laughs> When I bought the horizontal drawer storage, I was initially thinking for organizing our first aid and medications. I thought that would be perfect for those, but the stationary cupboard needed to be organized first. So I'm using these here. So you can imagine in the future, there's going to be another video about organizing medications and first aid supplies. Although these were covered in plastic, I was really surprised that there was quite a bit of dust on them and there was also sticky residue on the outside here. So I grabbed an antibacterial wipe to get that off and just dusted them throughout. So just sit with me, talking to the night into the morning, building cat mystery. I don't think I ever want to go come closer next to me. Trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think. We were meant to be My understanding of the KonMari method from the videos that I've watched is that you need to remove everything from that space and attach each one of it. I'm actually not going to do that. I just have time constraints today. I don't have time to make a massive mess and pull everything out and then try and work on putting it back. So I'm going to be using the vertical store drawage for our paper, scrap paper, lined paper, as well as colored paper. So I'm just grabbing out our colored paper that I've got in a stack here. It's all just been stacked together. So it was very difficult to try and find what I needed to find. And what I've learned with organization, my big tip is you just have to label everything or it doesn't last. And it also just makes it so much easier for yourself and other people because they open up the cupboard and there's the white paper. I don't have to try and look through the plastic, which one's got the white paper, which doesn't. I just read the label and find it. And that's why I have become so passionate about organizing because it saves me so much time. It makes life easier and I just have more time to do cool stuff that I want to do. The label maker I'm using is so inexpensive. I'm pretty sure it's under $30 and it lasts so long and it works. In a recent video I shared where I was organizing our guest bedroom slash craft room, I used chalk paint and I attached it too quickly and it just smudged. Whereas this is so easy. I often see label makers on special before the starting of a new school term. So look out for those back to school sales. The Dymo label maker, I'm using the large font. I also have an older Cricut from when I had an Etsy business and made greeting cards and such. I know the latest Cricut is just awesome for making labels. I try to use both sides of paper when we print it out. So that's why I've got a heap here that have got dots on one side and are just ready to be used on the other. So in this stationary cupboard, we've had all the items out on the shelf so you could see them, but that doesn't last because they just mix together. So I tried putting them in a tub so that I could just pull out the tub and it's containing it, 
well, that hasn't worked either. So here I am going through and decluttering what I can. What I was surprised about is we had three hole punches. I love the height in these drawers too. As you can see there, I've managed to fit business envelopes and they're just standing up tall. So there's plenty of space. Just kind of get as much as I could out and put it on the floor because I had gained myself a little helper <laughs> of the pens so I just wanted to be down there as well if you've been around for a while you would have seen my pink microfiber glove I reckon it works so well to just slip on the hand and move around I've also here removed a shelf so I've got a bit more space and then I just wipe down with an antibacterial cloth wonder what's next you know we're getting older Then it was time to check if they would go next to each other. That's what I was hoping for and they do. So that's a massive win. I can't believe how much paper I could actually fit in each one of those drawers. They're actually larger than they appear. So next I'm going through the pens to see if they're working. So this organization solution isn't working either. Having them in the cups, just in this cupboard, it's taking up a lot of vertical space. So I'm actually going to put it in a little tub and have them laying down like this. Then they should be able to sit easily on those drawers. I used to think I had plenty of dreams and light in my life. So my glass was half empty, but you came along and showed me how to love. So the next horizontal drawer I'm going to be using to put in our index cards, our post-it notes, and also our little notebooks. I didn't actually declutter any of these post-it notes or index cards. They all fitted really well in this drawer, so I decided to keep them. Like I said earlier in the video, I don't actually need three hole punches in the stationary cupboard. So I'm just going to check and make sure that they're all working properly. white containers with holes in them I already have them I bought them from Big W a while ago so just up the top I'm going to be putting four of them so the first one is going to have the pen second is the marker and then turned out we had a lot of USB sticks so I'm putting that in the next one and then later on in the video you'll see I'm actually just putting an empty one there so I'm putting an empty one for the reason and this is a big organizing tip is so we've got room to grow if I completely fill everything as soon as we get something else, then where am I going to put it? What am I going to do? So by having an empty container there, I've got room for us to put something new in it that comes into our lives. That's all I had time for today. It's time for lunch. So I ended up labeling the drawers and the plastic containers at another time. As you can see here, they're nice, clear labels. They're the large font for the label maker. So here is the before and how satisfying is this after? All right, onto some kids organization. So if you follow me on Instagram, thank you for letting me know which size font to use. I ended up going with the coloring books as per your suggestion. So using these magazine holders that are $4.50, what I'm gonna be using, I've got three of them. I'm gonna be using them for coloring books, activity books, as well as puzzles. I'd been using this cardboard box that we got some rice cups in and it had been working okay, but it just isn't sturdy enough. I also had the activity books as well as the coloring books all mixed in together. So what I'm going to be doing is separating them. So I'm just going through them because they're A4 size. They're also perfect to use with the puzzles. So to store the puzzles, I use these clear carry cases or document folders, depending on the size of them. They're $3 from Kmart. It's just an awesome way to keep all the puzzle pieces together. 
It's the organisation system that I find works best for our A4 puzzles. Tell me how you organise your puzzle so that the pieces don't go missing. Just grabbing all our puzzles and organising them together. As you can see, the playroom is just trashed, so I needed to start organising it. It was just a job I could do while my son was asleep in that room where the door's shut because that's where the activities and colouring books and puzzles are going to live on the bookshelf in there. So I just went shelf by shelf, removed absolutely everything. The dust is so thick, so I have to do this quite regularly. I'm also going to be removing some toys and just rearranging them to make them more appealing so that the kids are more likely to play with them. I'm trying to figure out where all of the pieces are going to fit But I stumble in the dark when I am not with you Baby, I'm going crazy I want to be somebody for you that makes your heart more wild I want to turn you on Cause lately I've been feeling like there's somebody around I was getting there and my son woke up so I wanted to finish off these magazine holders so I went into his cupboard and then put them on the shelf here with the books and I also just went through the bookcase so how I've organized the bookcase is by colors and I find that works really well and it makes it quite appealing and it appears organized when the books are all just put in there but like I said I had coloring in books and activity books all throughout this so I wanted to pull them out and put them in their new home. Because you know I love that quote, everything in its place and a place for everything. I want to show you here that if I have it facing outwards how busy it looks and how much more appealing to the eye and less busy and cluttered it looks by just facing it the opposite way. So that's sorted. I'm just going to get back to cleaning the playroom. I hope you enjoy this song as I finish putting the toys away and begin vacuuming this floor. I can't understand why you don't want to be holding hands. Never let me see your true colors plan. Yeah, I do. you like me too? Tell me because I'm freezing. My hair is always getting caught around the head of the vacuum, so I always have to clean that out. This is very easy to open. I just lift the top and then pour it in the bin. In our home, the bottom of our stairs is always full of stuff. It's just such a high traffic area. It just always looks dirty. I like to put items on this shelf like my daughter's artwork and a few DIY projects I've got going with some play activities. So that's my working space. So I'm going to kind of keep it a little bit messy 
I do need to buy a few more organization supplies. So I'm just going to pack everything back up into this tub and deal with it another day. So there it's done. That's not going to last long. That's life with kids. So right here, I'm sharing that Kmart haul where I bought those organization supplies as well as my organization playlist. Thanks heaps for watching. I'm so grateful you watched until the very end. Really hope that you were able to get some organization tips as well as some cleaning motivation. Bye.